Part Fry Cook, part Edge Lord. If you see a Black Prior on the other side, you know you're gonna have a bad time. BP was the first hero added back in year 3 and brought a unique counter to almost everything but a guard break. Black Prior is quite literally no you the character. Before we even get to the infamous flip, BP's opener lights have a superior block property, as does their dash forward heavy. You can open up a combo with either of these or a neutral heavy and follow up with either a light or undodgeable heavy attack. If you thought that seems like a weird spot for an undodgeable heavy, then you forgot what BP is holding in their left hand. Black Prior has four different ways to shield bash, all guaranteeing a finisher light if they connect. The first is, as you just saw, after an opener light, with the main mix-up being orange or blue. The second is Black Prior doing their best conqueror impersonation, with the mix-up obviously being will you bash or guard break. Oh shit, not good. The third is Black Prior's zone, which, fun fact, is the only zone attack in the game that doesn't deal direct damage. The mix-up here is that the timing to dodge is different than the dash forward bash, which can be used as a very effective mix-up after a bulwark counter. The final shield bash option Black Prior has is soft painting an opener heavy into a bash. It's a great mix-up to see if your opponent has a pulse. BP players love using either the dash or light into shield bash, especially against heroes without a dodge attack, because dodge into guard break only works on read, not reaction. After dodging his own attack, players may think it's safe to guard break, but BP can still follow up with a light or heavy attack to beat their guard break. The best counter to these bashes are, unsurprisingly, dodge attacks. Hawk's charge has an enormous window to dodge, and you will eat a guard break. This move is really only good for sneaky ledges. Like the other three shielded heroes, Black Prior also has an all guard. Moving your guard down enters bulwark stance, and like every all guard in the game, you guard in all three directions, but have limited movement and can't counter guard break. Despite being a bigger and assumedly heavier shield, Black Prior doesn't constantly lose stamina in this stance, only when taking hits. The trade off is that it's the only all guard in the game without a superior block property, and you need to time your counter before getting hit. The trade-off to that is that it literally counters everything but a guard break. I'm not joking, at one point it even countered some feats. What? How? Why? I have so many questions! Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. I'll make a detailed video covering what BP can and can't flip since the three Mythbusters I made a while ago feature a lot of outdated info. But here's the Cliff Notes version in the meantime. Black Prior can flip regular attacks, Orange attacks, bashes, attacks that weren't meant for them, most deflects, drop attacks, other flips, funny insta kill move, hungry forest midget, and gun. Black Prior cannot flip guard breaks, thrown bodies, launched bodies, projectiles, larger projectiles, or depression. If you catch someone with it, Bulwark Counter flips an opponent over your head and you follow up with a 360 degree slash dealing 24 damage or throwing them off a ledge. If someone else attacks while you're flipping, they get added to the pile. And because of the 360 degree damage, if an innocent bystander is getting a close up of the flip, they will be hit. After a flip, both the flipper and flippy are reset to neutral. Neither party has frame advantage. One of the coolest things about BP's bulwark stance and why they can flip all but two deflex is the ability to fast flow into the stance after throwing or blocking an attack. You don't have to fast flow into a flip though. You can also throw an unblockable heavy from the right that acts as a chain starter. Being able to flow into Bulwark after an attack essentially means BP has an infinite combo, albeit a very predictable and arguably limited one, but hey, it's there. Obviously, BP is a solid enough hero in ones and is a great pick in team games as well. Bulwark counter is a persistent threat when BP is outnumbered because players can't mindlessly throw attacks, lest they end up becoming human pancakes. If players keep feigning to guard break, it'll quickly fill BP's revenge meter. And if players just faint and don't follow up with another attack, then they're wasting time while you stall them from capturing points or helping their teammates. Another little thing that helps BP's defense is your guard matching the direction of your dodge. It has saved me on countless occasions and is really, really helpful. Bulwark Slash is also pretty good at catching opponents caught in the middle or off to the side of a fight. 
Black Prior also has an incredibly slow sprinting attack that doesn't link into anything or fast flow into Bulwark Stance. As for Black Prior's max punishes, Heavy Parries give you either a Light into Shield Bash or an Dodgeable Mix-Up, or Shield Bash into Light for more damage, Stamina damage, or an Insta-Kill. You could also Zone into Light for more Stamina damage at the cost of much more of your own Stamina. You can also use your Crushing Counter Lights for more damage than the aforementioned punishes. If you're able to use either of them, both the Dash Forward Heavy Crushing Counter and the Flip deal 24 damage. Light parries simply net you a top heavy. No fancy moves necessary for the max damage here. Guard breaks guarantee a side heavy, and wall splats guarantee a top heavy as long as you're not right up against the wall and you move your guard to top before the throw. When your opponent is out of stamina or you're in revenge, you can simply light into heavy on both parries and throws. If you have the stamina, you can flow right into Bulwark Slash for some good unblockable pressure. On parries, you also have the option to forward dash heavy into heavy for more damage, but the timing is a bit trickier. BP is straight up For Honor's goth kid, there's no denying that. However, newer armor editions have shown BP is capable of wearing something that doesn't make them hard to see at night. The perks BP can get from their gear are Remedy, Bastion, Feline Agility, Vengeful Barrier, Last Stand, Bulk Up, and Rising Dawn. I personally run Bastion, Vengeful Barrier, and Bulk Up to give myself a better chance of survival when contesting zones. In the 4v4 game modes, Black Prior can use the following feats. In Tier 1, there is Sinister Shield, Iron Lungs, and Speed Revive. Sinister Shield lets you cut yourself for 25 damage to give an ally a 30 damage shield. Stupid useful, especially if you're just sitting on a zone uncontested, or you have Healing Ward ready. Iron Lungs increases your cardio, letting you sprint while out of stamina. Speed Revive does exactly what it sounds like. In Tier 2, Black Prior can use Healing Ward, Doom Banner, or Inspire. Imagine if the Tier 4 feat Regenerate worked well in combat and was a Tier 2 feat. Oh wait, you don't have to imagine. Doom Banner places a Banner of Doom that reduces enemy defenses by 25%. Inspire makes you a cheerleader, boosting your teammates' damage and minion attack speed. In Tier 3 there is Oathbreaker, and the other two options don't matter, because Oathbreaker. Finally in Tier 4 we have Umbral Shelter, Regenerate, and Morale Booster. From taking shields to giving them, Black Prior gives themselves and nearby allies 100 HP shields, but reapplies the shields twice, essentially making you and nearby allies invulnerable for 11 seconds. Regenerate slowly heals you when out of combat. It doesn't work when sprinting or climbing a ladder, only when standing or walking. Finally, Morale Booster is a map-wide 20% damage buff for all of your alive teammates. Yeah, no shocker that BP's four unique feats are the go-to's. While I think a point can be made for Speed Revive, especially if you throw on Feline Agility to get to downed allies quicker, you can prevent allies from dying in the first place by using Sinister Shield. Healing Ward can negate the need to return to a captured zone to heal, make you heal quicker in an owned zone, get you out of a lot of sticky situations, or you could use it to back off and heal during a gank. You can even still throw your unblockable heavies for pressure, and it's just, it, it's stupid good. While Tough as Nails turns you into a raid mini boss, especially when paired with Bulk Up and Bastion, I don't think it or slightly extra chip damage compared to the ability to delete a shield. Lastly, Umbral Shelter gives you and nearby allies near invulnerability for 11 seconds. This includes the Commander in Breach. Black Prior is a menace in team modes. With a decent and fairly safe offense and strong defense with a unique counter to bashes, BP is excellent at setting the pace of a fight and stalling on a point. The ability to fast flow into Bulwark Stance from attacking and blocking means being able to swap between offense and defense quickly and easily, albeit you can become quite predictable if you're not careful. If you're looking for a solid hero that works well in duels but excels in team modes, Black Prior is a great choice. If you want more specifics on BP like attack timings, which executions are the fastest, and more, the For Honor Information Hub has a beautiful spreadsheet with all the data you need, and I've linked it down below. If you want to see how well Black Prior works in Elden Ring, I also got that covered. I'd like to thank you for watching, and thank all my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible, especially Shadow and the Rookie VA. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video.